Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to show you how you may engrave using CO2 laser, uh, we're actually testing 80 watt power, on different metallic surfaces. So we have uh, stainless steel, we have actually two types. Uh, we previously made uh, laser engraving uh, using our diode laser. We have a piece of titanium, uh, those uh, color uh, lines were engraved using our 10 watt DPSS laser model. Uh, these uh, pieces, these uh, heart shapes and uh, rectangles actually were engraved using our diode laser. We have a piece of steel, so uh, you see that we have some rust here. We have, uh, I don't know actually the, the type of this metal, but it looks like, it, it's not brass, um, well, maybe it's, um, uh, I don't know, some, some alloy. Uh, and we have um, copper and we have pure aluminum. So uh, let's get started with uh, these five pieces because for engraving on aluminum and brass, uh, we would need uh, thermal grease. We showed before how uh, you can do engravings usual, uh, using this paste. Usually, um, it's, this paste um, is used for uh, thermal conductivity in CPU uh, processors when you put your um, cooling system on your CPU. So, let's get started. So, everything is uh, ready. Um, I'll put it over here, so you need also to uh, to remain in focus, it's very important. Uh, the focal range from the end of the uh, nozzle to the surface should be something like 2-3 uh, millimeters. So we're ready, and let's start the engraving process. I use uh, speed 50% and uh, 15 millimeters per second in grain speed. Okay, let's start it. Okay. Keep in mind that uh, uh, this part can become hot. Yeah, I can actually feel it's uh, getting hot and you see that was engraved so no paste nothing on stainless stainless steel let's try another piece we made uh, some photo engravings using our diode laser and let's engrave GF over here same parameters Zoom in. Okay. You can change speed and power. It's up to you. You can make it more or less. Okay, let's see what we got. I think it's quite quite accurate. Yeah, and I can feel a surface so it's not actually flat okay a uh, piece of titanium yeah I, I engraved it here GF using our DPSS laser let's put it here okay. yeah I would probably need some more pieces Different metals. Okay. Let's see. That looks good. Yeah, so also was engraved quite easily. Um, let me engrave it here. I need to 
Put it down. Okay. So you can see. Okay, let's let's try it. Okay, even better than was before. Okay, looks good. So what we're gonna try next is, uh, yes, piece of uh, steel. Okay, rusted is not interesting. So let's engrave it here. Okay, well, I don't think that we're in perfect focus. Yeah, now we are. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so um, now we will do on copper and on aluminum. So the problem is that those materials cannot be engraved without chemicals. So some people suggest to use dry lubemoly or Cermark paste, but we're using thermal grease. Okay, so it's very simple. We need Get some grease, some paste, and cover it up. Let's say somewhere here. Yeah. It's very hard to get in focus here while carrying. Okay. Yeah, we do not need a lot. Something is okay. And for, for copper, the same. Oops. I think I did everything all right, and let's put them on worktop. Okay. It will be very, very beautiful. Yeah, I'll need to bring the camera closer. Okay, let's do that. And we just need to to clean it up. Okay, yeah, it's you know I can see it perfectly, but from this perspective oh okay, yes. Now you can also see it it's reflecting. Yeah, looks good. And let's do the same experiment with a piece of copper. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing, because I don't use the yeah, assist here. I need to make sure that the nozzle is clean. Okay. Some zoom. Okay. Yeah, this piece become became very hot. Yeah, GGF. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, previously we engraved this guy using our DPSS laser module. So, but here, yeah, it looks good. I think that's awesome. So in this video, I showed you that you can actually engrave almost on all types of uh, metallic surfaces. Some you can engrave without uh, any chemical or engraving paste for aluminum and copper you need something like uh, thermal grease so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends if you want to learn more about endurance lasers visit our website endurancelasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com if you have any questions you are always welcome to ask me gf at endurancerobots.com or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three zero two thank you for watching subscribe on our channel bye bye